Hello everybody, Togal here and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3. So this is actually all out of <clears throat> episode 11 and 12 were both one episode, but when I was editing it was even too long for my taste. I don't mind, you know, if I get up to about an hour, but 80 minutes or so hour and 20 minutes, hour and 25 minutes, however long this was, it was just too much. Even for my taste, and it's also better for my analytics and view reports and so on on YouTube. So. I made sure there was no cliffhanger. This episode came out right after 11 was published, so you can just continue watching. And yeah, let's just jump right back into where we were, okay? Enjoy the episode. Okay, so now that we have all of this, we're going to see here the book real quick. What do you want me to do? Let's claim all this gobbledygook. Okay, so now I need an ember crystal so we can... Man, we're getting close to that... To that... Come on. Thank you. 2D flight totem. And I can't wait for that one. All right. So let's get this one as well. All right. Now we need to make the melter, the stamper, a reservoir. All right. I'm, I'm not sure. But let's go. I'm going to need one. No, I want two melters. I always did two. All right. Let's see if I have everything now. I still need to make a compass. Make you. And there we go. Mixer centrifuge. So we're going to melt it. We're going to mix it. I don't need to store anything or whatever because we're only going to use this for embers. The, this stuff here, the Dawnstone ingot. Sorry, that's what it's called. Not embers. Um, and let's check here real quick. What is this actually made out of? Molten Dawnstone is... Okay, come on. Gold and copper. Same amounts. All right. I'm probably just gonna come over here. Um, gold, right? Yes, all right, let's get a stack of gold and a stack of copper. And I'm hoping that we can use these to cook them down. Come on, do it right. 16 and 16. And I think that's gonna make me 32 Dawnstone ingots. I think it doubles. I'm pretty sure it did. All right, so let's set this up over here. Um, first, we're gonna need the two melters. I don't know how I want to do this. Do, do, do. How about here and there? And then we're going to come from that. Yes, you drop in the items from the top. So that is why they told us to use the item dropper. Okay, I actually don't mind that. Let, let's use the the one from this mod pack. Uh, from, from this mod, sorry. I've never used this one before, so I'm going to take two. And then I want some framed Duralinos. Come on, right there. So this one gets longer and longer, so to here. And now I can take this back. All right, um, Embers is... It's a very dumb pipe, okay? I, I don't mean it as a dumb designed or created. It's just a dumb pipe. It, it will go... if. It will always check all sides around the extractor if it can put it somewhere. Um, and if you put an actual pipe, it knows, all right, send it this way, and then it will be sent. So this way, I, I, I kind of made it so it cannot go the wrong way. I don't know if I explained that well enough, but I hope I did. So there we go. So now I know it will work, so we're just going to leave it here for a second. Okay, so from here, we need to go into the mixer centrifuge, which we're going to put here. And I think we're pumping out... This is my problem. Is I never know where the input and the output is on this one. So we're just going to have to figure that out. But before we do that... I don't know where the... The ember nipple goes here. Let's get... Wait, wait, wait. What all wrong things here? Let's get two receptors... I think it comes out here. So I think I need to have this thing there and this there. Well, let's just find out. Um, so I'm going to need two more emitters here. I'm going to start running out of room. So let's go to here and there. And then we might have to move this guy. I'm just going to leave it off for right now. Um, so always from the receiving end... 
shift right click right click and then we need two levers again i'm glad i made enough for these so i guess i can put this on here for a second and it's filling all right so these are these are on the bottom okay and then like i said here's my problem is i think these pipes are going to the bottom and you extract on the top if i remember that right so let's just try that so we're gonna have an extractor here and there it's quite fun to um set these up when you know what you're doing <laughs> okay what's going on here why are we smoking over here I don't know um so we're gonna come to here but it's gonna connect and then down but i think with this guy here i can wrench this yes okay and then fluid pipe there and there but wrench this so now i think if we're dropping the items oh i still need levers again um do i have any more yeah there so you go here Turn this on, and you go here, turn this on. So now it's going to suck the items out and should put them in here. And then I think we're extracting from the top, but let's just find out if this works at all. So let's put the gold in here. So it does toss them in there, okay? First time I used that, it works. Put those in here. Now, if we put a fluid dial on here, it only shows you 8,000. Okay, and on the bottom here, it shows us multiples. There we go. So I do know that this is actually correct, the way I have set it up. Alright. So now we need a... <clears throat> Excuse me. have any more? Yes, right there. Put this guy on the top. And now I'm hoping I can put the other one here on the bottom. Man. From there to there. Why is this automatically going? Oh, because of this lever right there, which is fine. Okay, it works. And if we now put this on here, we should see that we have Dawnstone on the top. There we go. All right, so this works. Now we just have to put it in two. We need a stamp base. This needs embers, but this one here needs to have... Okay, so I now I do want to move this up one. Sorry. That's, that's fine. We can do this. <laughs> Uh, let's just put you right there so I can put you against it and break this again. Because I need to get the liquid in this one, right? That makes sense. And that goes somewhere. Alright, so let's come from the top on this one. I have one more fluid extractor. I did not plan it this way, but I'm glad it does. And fluid pipe. Now the thing is, I want to make sure I'm not pumping it into here again. So I'm going to come over and then down just to make sure. And I have no more levers. So I'm going to need at least two more levers. All right. So here and do I have another? I have four receptors. I don't have a emitter anymore. I need to make some of these. Okay. Thank you for that message about the server backup. So this thing is going to come to here. And this one is going to be here. Let's connect this one to that. The, the base doesn't need ember. Okay, and now we can add one more lever there. And it should come around and charge this. Okay, good. Boy, oh boy. Um, I don't think I... Oh yes, I need the lever on this thing here still. So now it's filling here, but because I did not give it anything. Um, what does the quest book want from us? I'm going to turn this off here just in case. Do I still have any liquid in here? 7236. Okay, that might be something dividable by 144. But we put the stamp here, boom, instantly. You saw that? And I'm sucking them up. I'm standing here. Um, there's It doesn't store them or anything, so I would have to put up a... An Ember's Vacuum thing. I'm sorry. That's a terrible word. So I'm just waiting for this to be done. 
Oh, I think there's eight buckets in there, so... Okay, let's just make the... Again, let's stay in the mod. I don't mind that. Add embers. Getting a crash course in embers here. <laughs> All right, there we go. And this needs a lever as far as I know. And I'm going to need another frame. I want another one of these. And concrete. Concrete. One white. One cyan. I'm really liking this color combination. I don't know why. Okay, and I do want this to be... Yeah, yeah, give it to me. Aw, oh, man. I wanted it to be... How am I going to do this? I guess I need something to place this against. Kablam. We'll break the base. There we go. And now we can put this item vacuum against this. Boom. And I'm pretty sure this needs a lever. Alright, so. My magnet is off. Let's turn this on. Two. So that works. As soon as it gets formed, it goes into there. Alright, so now we got ember ingots. Uh, sorry, dawnstone ingots. Let's turn all of these in. So instead of actually doing what the quest book wants me to do, right? I'm like, you know what? We, we're, the whole series so far has always been about, you know, getting to a point, getting to something. First one was applied in logistics. Um, and now it is to get the, the auto crafter set up with this master infusion stone, right? And we need this glimmer crystal to go to the net, uh, to the, to the twilight forest. So I know I need to go into an alchemy recipes. So I, instead of doing whatever they want us to do, I want to go down, you know, into this alchemy, which I don't know if we're going to get done today because that's, that takes quite a lot of work, but I also wanted to free up some of these ports over here, right? Um, is this guy, it's, it's okay. I, it's not very fast over here. Maybe I'm going to have to start using some of these big ones. But anyways. So what I want to do now is clean this up a little bit. Because I have four outputs for four machines. And I made these splitters here. The beam splitters. Um, and I'm, I don't remember if I've ever used those. But I do want to. So I figured we're going to use this guy here. To go to a beam splitter here. That goes down to this receptor and this receptor. And then we're going to use a second beam splitter, which we're going to have to put like right here to go to this thing and the other one to go to this guy right here. So we're going to free up two ports so I can reuse those for the alchemy and stuff. So that's the idea behind this. So I'm going to turn these off here real quick. I wish it would show you on the lever like it does on vanilla levers, but it doesn't. Okay, so now how I understand how this works is we need a receptor. Okay, I'm I'm going to have to read the book real quick because it tells us in here. Machines of fire, natural energy. No, it's not in this one. Where is it? Constructs. Beam splitter. Okay. Using a new... Uh, discover the way to... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. The beam splitter has four faces, two with smaller copper ports and two with larger copper and dawnstone ports. Each of the larger ports will function as its own ember emitter. So they function as an emitter. I don't need to put those. When ember is fed into the splitter, it will split the embers it receives between those two ports, which can each be bound independently. Okay, uh, let's put this back and get this. So I'm guessing these are the bigger ones. Okay, so let's come from this guy to here and this guy to here. But do I still need a receptor on this one? Let's check. I want to use this one. Nice. So you don't... I remember these... Beam splitters used to be that you needed to put a receptor on here and then emitters on both sides. But that's long. That's many years ago, guys. So I'm very happy that it functions this way because it's also much smaller, right? That was always really pain in the butt. So now we come from this guy to here and this guy. If I can get there. I can't. I gotta. How do I get over here? 
<laughs> ah! Can I reach you somehow? No. Ah, uh, bye bye pipe. To there. Okay. And then we'll come from this one to this one. Okay, let me put this pipe back. That is a fluid pipe. All right there. And now we turn this one back on. Okay, good. But now just to make sure that this still works, I'm just going to make another stack, which is totally fine. We have enough gold and copper. But I want to make sure that this all still works and all receives. So I see them going down to these little ones. There we go. And now this one should fire over to the mixer, yes. I cannot tell if this one... I don't think so. Let's, let's make sure the thing is working again. I don't know, do you guys see it going in here? I don't. Um, can I put my, my trusty reader on this one? It does stay full. Okay, so apparently it's just like shooting through here and we can't see it or whatever, but it is working. So that is good. So it's been all done and I noticed this does not fill now. And I also made a change over here because I'm getting these little ones apparently really slow. I don't know. I'm actually not getting anything right now. So I'm going to have to go over there and check what is going on if I still hear the noise. So I just put a regular chest on here, took the whitelist off and just set it to always go so I can take out items from here. You know, right now it's at 11,000 and let's put this one in here. And then you see it's going to shoot up like a lot. There we go. It went up what? About 8,000 almost. So I can just put stuff in here manually. I, this is not going to be a super automated area, right? Because we're only going to use it what we need it for. But anyway, so what I want to do here real quick is I want to put a relay here. And then I want to go from here. Actually, let's undo this here. Let's go from here to there and from here to there. And I want to see... Okay, now it shoots the normal way. And I bet you now this is filling up and when it's at 8,000, this will actually stop. I don't know what, what is what's doing. Why is it constantly shooting over there? It, I don't know. I'm guessing this, this bend here was just too narrow, right? So that's why it didn't work. But now this seems to work and I'm happy about it. All right. The other thing is that I just made is the cinder plinth. Okay, I'm still trying to remember. It was in... I forgot on that mod pack where we were on the ash planet. Exoria, I think that was it. That's the last time we did alchemy. We needed it for some stuff. And as far as I know, it's the cinder plinth. Oh, where's that again? Right here. Um, it's a simple machine. Place any item into it. Powered with ember and it will turn it back into ash. Okay. And then we also need to make all of the things here. The iron aspectus, copper, lead, silver, and dawnstone. We need all of these for the quest book. And we also need them later to make the actual thingamabob here. The glimmer crystal. We need we need dawnstone aspectus with some ash in it. Something. And I remember there was something we needed to do it once to figure out the ratio. And then we wrote it down on signs. So we knew we needed, you know, let's say it says 64 to 80. You make it and it says it is four too high or something like that i think so then you went down and so on it, it was it was really weird how how this worked I, so i'm trying to recall this here i think right here is the no that's the ashen fabric there was something that it spit out but anyways so it says that we need we're also gonna need some ash so you know bottom line so i think for right now we're just gonna place the thing right here we'll figure out what we want to do with it and then it says any items okay um how about some sticks? Okay, so we put a stack of sticks in here. And now we still need to give this some um, a receptor. Let's just put that right here for now. And then put another emitter on this face right here for right now. Connect these two up. 
And it's already gone because the other... Okay, so this is making me ash. You guys see that? And, well, then the ash right here we can also then put into the stamper base, it told. And I can put this back into a normal recipe. At least that's what I thought it said. But it doesn't matter. Um, we're making this because we're going to need it for this next part. And I also know that we need to... Okay, so what I need to do here right now is I need to get iron. What is this? This is one ingot. Perfect. And we need to get the iron into here. Into the stamp base. And we only need to do this stuff one time. So let's do this here. So instead of... We can leave that here. Let's come out. And over like this. So it's going to go directly into there. And I just, you know what, I am going to break this pipe. All right. So now if I put iron in here, this is going to go into this one. I keep sucking up the ash right here, but that's fine. Okay. And then I need these little ones. Oh, nice. I need five of those. We have eight again. Okay. Wow. This went up far all of a sudden. Like out of nowhere. Weird. Okay. So let's get one of these. And we need to put that into the stamp base, just like that. So once the iron comes in here, which one of these do we need? We need the plate stamp. Alright, so let's get rid of this one and put that one in here. And let's go ahead and get ourselves... I'm not gonna use the... I'm not gonna use the... The crushed stuff, because that's gonna double. So I need one iron, one copper, one lead, and one silver. Okay. Let's go ingot, one iron, one lead, one copper, and one silver. Okay, and I'm going to take it slow because I want to make sure this all works. All right, give me that ash. There we go. And I can just put the iron in here. And it should all just do it automatically. As soon as this is, comes over here, are we done with the ash? I got 64, yes. Once the iron is melted, it just sent... There we go. And we got our iron asbestos. I keep calling it asbestos. It's aspectus. I don't know. That's really hard for me to say. There we go. And now we put the lead and get the lead one and so on. So I'm going to make all five of these. The last one is the dawnstone here. Right? And then we'll see if we can figure out how to do this alchemy stuff. Um, after reading the tablet for a bit here, I actually remembered how this works now. If I can find my gunpowder, it's over here. I need two of you and a nether quartz. Okay. So, <clears throat> again, today we're only going to do what we need. And you guys see there is five of these different aspectus. We only need one. So I only made one of these pedestals. And let me just show you how I remember this working. Let's just put this guy right there. And then here we're going to have this exchange tablet. And then we also need a beam cannon. And I don't remember if there is a way if I need to tie this to that or what. But we charge this up, okay? We put the aspectus here, the dawnstone aspectus, plus a certain amount of ash into this pedestal. Oh my god, where is it? There it is. And it shows us here 64 to 80. So I can either go with the min or the max. So I'm just going to go with the min for right now. And I don't know if we're going to get lucky or not. And also, if you check up here, you can actually see the ash. So I can put 64 in here. And we need to put this spectus on top of it as well. And this just needs to be in range of this uh, exchange tablet. And on this exchange tablet, we need to put these items each on a face. Oh, yes, I remember. You actually need to do them one by one because otherwise it puts the whole thing. So there's two. And then we need these two. And then the nether quartz in the middle. And then we're going to hit this with a blast of energy, apparently. So I remember you needed to have a lever on this, I think. And when you give it a redstone signal, that's when it did it. But I don't remember... If I need to set this up, let's just set here. Shift right click. Oh, cool. Okay, so now it's aiming. I had no idea this came down. All right, very nice. 
And then, of course, I'm going to need a receptor up here. I'm just going to put it on the top. I'm not sure. From here to another emitter right there. And I'm going to... This It started because these uh, um, emitters and receptors each hold 200 themselves. So let's put this guy right there. And now, okay, so this should be charging over here. Now I have no idea how to know when to fire this. Or if it did it automatically or anything. How much is in here? Let's put another three in there. That's going to fill it almost up. Okay, let's uh, do this. Should probably make another one of these. Okay, so apparently it needs 2,000. So that's a good indicator. So I'm going to leave this on here. You know what? While this charges, we're just going to make another one real quick. Because I really like the thing here. Da -da -da -da. Where are my dials? All right there. Oh, good. I have another copper plate. Thank you very much. All right. So now I can put this on here and actually see both of them. So now this is at 2,000. And I think I'm just going to pull this. That is so cool. I forgot about this. I'm taking a screenshot. Might use that in the thumbnail. Alright, I have no idea how long this takes. But this is filling again, which is fine. It can be filled. Wow. Um, looks like the ash... Is going down. Okay, there we go. So now I have a chemical waste. It says Dawnstone Inaccuracy 12. So that means I need 72 ash. I have 64, so I need 8 more. Okay, let's go ahead and burn this up. And let me now I have to grab all these items again. So that means I need another 2 gunpowder. Another one of you. And 2 of the little shards. And then we do this again. Okay, so just to double check, not the, it said in there because 12, so I need... Why, why did I say 72? 76. I need 76. <laughs> so this is... 72. So I need four more. I'm glad I double checked. Alright, and this thing right here, I'm going to keep... Just so I know in the future that if I need to double check this again. Alright, so now I have 76. Yes, and I need two more of you. And let's put another two in here. Just to keep this going. And I can leave this guy up here because I'm going to reuse them. So there's 60 and 76. Excuse me? can only put 64 so so do I need to just have another one um hmm so does that mean I need to make a second one of this and put it on a second pedestal or do I just need to have one of these I don't know Hmm, I... And I already removed all the pipes over here. I don't know. And I... Hmm. So can I maybe just add it during the process? I don't know. This is... Let, let me consult this thing here again. That was right here. It's the alchemy pen of these bare aspecti and can contain ash. For an alchemy recipe, place a pedestal for each needed aspectus about the tablet. Fill it with ash within the determined range and strike the tablet with the beam. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna just run it now and then see if I can add this ash by hand while it's cooking down, guys. If not, then we'll make a second one. But I want to see if it works or not. It's always good. For science, here goes nothing.
I cannot add it. All right, so I need to make a second one of these pedestals. So check it out, what I did over here now, so it's permanent now, I can leave this in case I need any more of these Aspectus crystals, is I can simply wrench this one to go back into here and unwrench this, right? So if I want to make Dawnstone, it's this way, and if I want to pump it directly into here, I can do that as well. So I think that's a pretty good uh, way of doing that. So I made a second one of these pedestals, and I also made the second one of these Aspectus just in case i like i'm worried if i do it again that i need to do it a fourth time but i also hope that it doesn't interfere that i have double aspectus up here i have no idea guys so excuse me let me put 64 in here and 12 makes 76 so of course i need to put these items again i totally forgot well let's do this a hundred more times because that's entertaining <laughs> sorry guys i i actually don't mind this at all um I just don't like this ash, this stuff over here, this guessing game. This this is the only part. The, the setup itself I'm okay with, but just having to do this multiple times, it's, I don't know, not a big fan of that. So, 2000, let's try it. God, I hope I got everything right. Okay, so it is using both. All right, and I can turn this off so it doesn't shoot again. I also like this here. This is a really cool animation everything. I'm I'm impressed. All right, hopefully this will happen this time, and then we can go to the Twilight Forest. Next episode, of course. This got to be a cliffhanger. Come on. No, I just, I really wanted to get this done today. I have, I have a, a, a sneaky suspicion that it's going to be a long episode again. I haven't edited it yet. Um, because I was so into doing this. Um, my whole plan was about Lordcraft today, right? I wanted to do that. I did not expect to have to do embers, but there we go. We got our Glimmer Crystal, guys. Woohoo! Yay! Give me something. Come on, quest book. Ah, don't let me hang like that. Okay, I can turn all of these in real quick. Man, we gotta be getting close to the flight. Thing I'm a bob here. Claim it. Let's go. Like, I found out that, for example, under Alpha here. Like, I never got credit for any bonsai, really? I've made, what, eight, ten of these so far, at least? That's crazy. None of these. We can do the skulls here with three, by the way. So we can get some. We can get more of these rack points if we want. Quite easily. What? Hunting dimension. I haven't been there yet. All right. But da 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 da. Where is the twilight forest? There we are. Clever crystal. I have it. Hello. I don't want to right click by the way because apparently this actually places light sources and it can charge itself in daylight then. Um, so that's a pretty good idea. Oh, come on, man. Consume no. Retrieval task. I don't know what is going on with this quest book. I mean, what do you want me to do? Oh, what? I'm getting block of simple crystal. That's that stuff we want. But we're still going to go to the Twilight Forest. I hope that the quest book will update, guys. Um, when I log out and back in. I don't know what the deal is here. But let's check here real quick. How many do I have of these racks? I'm curious. 640. Little delayed there, huh? <laughs> 645. How many do I need for this flight crystal? I want to see. Uh, flight totem. 760. All right, so I'm, I'm still a bit off here. Um, I might work on completing some of these quests that we have done many times together. Um, you know, these kind of things. I might make one diamond mesh. I don't want to work on this here. I have never... Wait. Have I not made a better cobble gen than this one? Okay, apparently I have. Maybe I'll upgrade one of those to a better one. Oh, check it out. It didn't give me the diamond furnace. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to make another one of those. It's not that expensive. But anyways, I'm just rambling over here, guys. Um, That's it for today. Now we are ready to go to the Twilight Forest. So I think next episode is going to be a little bit adventurous. Um, I think I have pretty decent armor. I might work on... An enchanter. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to get an enchanter set up. Okay, I decided to add this just at the end here because I want to be able to just keep going with this uh, enchanting process between episodes. 
So we're, I made this guy right here, the Enchantment Factory uh, recipe, you know, just a typical industrial foregoing recipe. We put this here, it needs power and it also needs mob essence. And I'm not really sure, I guess I can take a bucket and probably get a bucket of this, okay. And then come up here with a fluid export bus. Put that here. And there. And now if I go into here, I should be able to tell it to export fluid essence. 125 millibuckets. Okay, can this be any slower? Wow. Really? 125 millibuckets, like every second? <laughs> okay, so we got this one done. I'm gonna put this back in here. And we can now get ourselves some books. I have six right now. They're easy to make because I'm using the uh, Tinker's Construct way of doing it. Paper, we have unlimited. String, we have unlimited. And this right here, right? So that's very easy to make. And I think all we do is put books in here. Oh, we can. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh, there we go. It made one. Efficiency four and shadow step three reduces the distance from which creatures detect you. Well, it's not a bad thing for Twilight Forest. Inside three, I don't know what that is. Um, I put more and I can probably make it so I put like a drawer with books next to it and then above it, uh, I, I don't know, a big storage crate or something. And I'm just gonna keep um, making things like this. I guess I would also like to test because we can also make an, a disenchanter, the same block where we can strip enchants off, okay? So I can, for example, also take my boots here and put those in here. See what we get, fuel efficiency three, that makes no freaking sense. None. That, that is the worst enchant ever. What do we get here? Protection 3 and Tombstone Soulbound. Unbreaking 3. Those are terrible enchants. <laughs> fuel efficiency. What's with the fuel efficiency? Anyway, so I can make the other one right here. I'm going to do this here between episodes, guys. Uh, at Industrial... Enchant right there, and it's um, this one right here, the Enchantment Extractor. All right, similar recipe, easy peasy. And you put items into it with, it only needs power, I think. It does not need any mob essence as far now. You put the items in with books, and it will strip them off, right? And I think I'm going to get myself a nice little library going here with a bunch of different enchantment books, and then we'll combine them and stuff and put them on our... Armor before we take into the go into the Twilight Forest because it's going to be a little bit more dangerous over there, especially because I don't think I'll have flight by then. So, anyways, that's it for today. How many Nether Stars are we up to now? Five. We gained one more. Very nice. Hi right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank, thank the blah, 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 words right in the end. I trip over my words. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye bye.